We met uh, on his basketball court here in Sherman Oaks. He, he had known me before I knew him. He saw me on stage. And uh, I was invited to play basketball there in 1979, 1980. I said, who? Gary Marshall, the producer. Who's that? Producer, a happy day? Said, happy days? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> his show. Knock my show off the air. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to Gary's house. Well, someone did not take the time to introduce me to Mr. Marshall. But there was another guy called Gary, and I thought that was Gary Marshall. <laughs> so I said, well, he, does, he looks too young to be, you know, to have produced all these things. And anyway, cut to the chase. Finally, I meet Gary. All right? And there's Gary. He's guarding me. Oh, but I know it was Gary Marshall himself. This tall guy's guarding me. And I'm playing. These are mostly very few actors. They didn't allow actors in there. They were writers and producers all ex-jocks, good basketball players. When I had legs, I could play, I could, I could do a little bit. And, and, and he's guarding me, guarding me, and at one point I, I faked me, and I, boom, I did a behind the back pass, I saw my guy cutting, bingo, like that. And unfortunately, you know, uh, Gary's face was in between my pass and my other guy. And uh, the ball hit him right in the chops. And he, and he, oh, he says some kind of Marshallese, Gets down on his knees and, and said, and everybody stops, like in like an E.F. Hutton commercial. <gasps> so what the, what's the big deal? It, it happens all the time. It's an accident. He, he goes, <laughs> what he's doing is checking to see if his teeth are in. <sighs> okay, I'm all right. I, I, he says, come over here. <laughs> I said, is this guy going to give me a hard time? Because I can't believe it. I go, I said, are you okay? He says, you're a terrific actor, but a lousy passer. Let's have a meeting. I think I got a movie for you. <laughs> Something like that is how we met. <laughs> and that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Mm -hmm. you know? Later on, we sat down. He said, what do you think? Is a, is, a, is a gorilla suit funny? I said, for three minutes. For a movie, a whole gorilla suit, that's not so funny. For about three minutes, it's funny. Then it's not funny anymore. Well, uh, that's how Young Doctors in Love sort of was developed, and my participation in it. And we created this character, or the, at least the bones of that character, whilst sitting on a bench, watching a basketball game that we were, you know, we're about to clash heads. Yeah. So that's how that, and who knew that 17 movies later? Something like that? Mm -hmm. A lot of movies. Mm -hmm. Now we don't even talk, I think we give hand signals. You know, he goes, hey, that's okay, right here. Go over there, play piano, come over here. Play piano means find an activity. All these code words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're coming through the door, maybe you're playing piano over here, and then you So we, but mostly we have one, a few things in common. Whatever, whatever, our, our differences are complementary, let's put it that way. Same time, same place, you know, New York City, the same era, music, we're both drummers. Uh, uh, we, we both, we both like, in spite of ourselves, to mentor younger people, you know, show them how to how to behave uh, properly on a set, and and if they have chops and they have a will, we like to support them as much as we can. That we have in common. That's that's fun. That really is a lot of fun. So that's my Gary Marshall introduction. First thing he asks you as a director, if you're a uh, a visiting actor, did you eat? Get him a chair. Get him a sandwich. Something. Did you eat? <laughs> That's it. When you say, what's the secret to direct? He says, wear comfortable shoes and change them twice a day. <laughs> he takes all the esoteric, you know, uh, booga booga out of it. He is a communicator. Yeah? He, um, he has terrific comedic ideas. And for some reason, I take that idea and I execute them and it goes through whatever, uh, that, that, that process, and it comes out my way. So I, I execute them in a particular way. That tickles him, and uh, sometimes the ideas are, I say, what, how can that, wait, or let me not, let me not uh, dismiss that offhand. There's something there, there always is. When I asked him, who is this guy in Pretty Woman? This is nothing, this character. He stands behind a desk, he's the manager, you've seen him in 150 movies. Who the hell is he? He says, I don't know, he said, I got things to do, I don't know. He says, then he, then he said something brilliant. Did you know it was brilliant, Gary? He said something, he said, I don't know, play, play the guy that you'd like to work for. 
Then he walked away doing something else. That left me with that. Hmm. All right. That was it. That's how he directs. He, if you need coaxing, he's there to coax you. He gives you a lot of confidence and allows you to fail. You have a good idea? Give it to me. He'll come up with ideas and write it on the palm of his hand so he won't forget. Here, do this. <laughs> Can you say this? <laughs> um, sometimes he'll do something which is really an old-fashioned technique which works with some actors. You're off camera and you're doing a moment. Then he's... Uh, you're on camera, you're doing, and he, off camera he says, okay, try to say, try to say that word and say that word. And then do that. Right? Or immediately. It's like silent movies. Try that. Come in again. Try that. Oh, good. Come in again. Try that. Come in again. Try that. Most times say, wait a minute. That's not acting. That's not getting... It's terrific. And he has all these choices. You know. he, Matt Dillon wouldn't laugh. He was very young. And he didn't think it was very whatever it was. He was 20, 21. Terrific young man. We did a movie called, uh, what was it called? Kid. Oh, The Flamingo Kid. Oh, what a delightful movie. I think one of the best ones. Yeah. And there was a moment where Gary needed Matt to laugh. Just needed him to give an open, you know, unaffected, um, uh, unguarded laugh. <laughs> and he couldn't do it. He, he told the cameraman, okay, keep the camera on, all right? He, he keep it on. All right, Matt, we're just going to do something. We're, gonna, we're not there. We're not. We're not shooting yet, just go. He put a ladder behind the camera, big ladder. Put on some ridiculous hat or something. Climbed up the camera, and the camera was on Matt, and he would need that quote. He said, Matt, look at this. And Matt looks up, and he goes, ah, he started laughing. Ah, look at that. Look at you, Gary. What do you need? Cut, I got it. That's it. He got it. He wanted Matt to, to hug at the end of the movie. He wouldn't hug. It's not manly to hug. <laughs> For some reason. But, Matt, you gotta hug the guy. All right. Well, by the time Gary finished, Matt wouldn't stop hugging. He said, "All right, Matt, stop. Let the guy go already." <laughs> <laughs> he has a way of, of being like Velcro. He attaches himself to you in this benign way and just uh, gives you a, a certain kind of confidence if you're a particular kind of actor. And and uh, he makes the day easy, feeds you well, and the crew loves him. If he needs a wall being moved, you know, they say, they'll say, you think I could have that wall? Someone will say, what wall? There's no wall there. It's gone in three minutes, you know. With another director, they may, you know, yeah, no, say, we're going into overtime and it'll slow down, you know. But not with Gary. If, if it's your birthday, you're going to get a birthday cake. He'll find out it's your birthday. Suddenly everything stops and everybody throws a party for you, you know. And, and he loves parades. So during a movie, there's a parade. All departments, they, they, they make a, they, every department has to compete against the other department of the parade to get ribbons. And we have ribbons, and there's judges. You wear funny hats. And stuff. <laughs> he, st he closed the Disney studio with a parade. But, and now comes the audio department with their particular... <laughs> That's scary. Right? 